Thank you for watching this webinar which will cover a technical accounting update. I'm Miriam Hanley and I'm the technical manager here at Menzies. So this webinar will cover the accounting implications of coronavirus. So recently news headlines have been dominated by the emergence and spread of coronavirus and it's had a significant impact on the economic activity in China um, which is where the virus started. There are also many other countries which have been impacted by coronavirus. I only heard on the news just this morning that there's now 400 cases in Italy. Um, and this is having a significant impact on businesses um, and therefore it is important to consider the accounting implications. So the first thing I want to say is that there are certain businesses that will not be impacted at all and so they don't need to consider this any further but there are a lot of businesses which will be impacted um, China accounts for a significant proportion um, of the world's business and economy um, so there will be a lot of companies impacted so for example um, a company that has operations and manufacturing in China clearly they could be impacted and there could be staff shortages or there might be production delays but even if you don't have operations or manufacturing in China if you have significant trading links um, you're highly likely to be impacted um, or if your supply chain is dependent on Chinese manufactured goods um, again you might be impacted so um, I think J it was JCB recently announced that they're going to have to reduce staff production hours in their factories due to not being able to obtain components from China. Um, so that is just one example. Um, they are not manufacturing in China, but they are dependent on manufactured goods from China, and that is having an impact on them as a company. So for companies that are impacted, um, they are likely to need to include something in their financial statements. So what, would, what is actually the impact? So if we first of all think about a December year end, so you need to consider whether coronavirus is an adjusting or a non-adjusting event. So if you think about the situation back in December, so at the 31st of December 2019, um, there was actually only a limited number of cases of coronavirus and there was no evidence of human transition at this point. So its subsequent spread and identification as coronavirus in early um, 2020, it doesn't provide additional evidence about the situation at 31st December 2019. Um, so therefore it is a non-adjusting event. Um, so if you have a 31st of December year ends you, and you're impacted by coronavirus, so say for example your JCB, um, you would need to consider disclosing this as a non-adjusting event. Um, if you have a March year end, actually you might have to start thinking about whether the coronavirus um, is impacting any of your impairment tests or whether it could indicate for example, you have any onerous leases. Um, so, for example, with JCB, um, if they've got a factory which they can't use because they're not getting products from um, China, then potentially there's consideration of whether the lease of that factory, it could then now be onerous. Um, so for March year ends, there needs to be more consideration if a company is impacted by coronavirus, there needs to be more consideration of whether it impacts any assets or liabilities on the balance sheet. Um, another area which um, potentially could be impacted is the strategic report. So um, this would be relevant for if you were a December year end or a March year end. So the strategic report is required to disclose principal risks and uncertainties. Um, and for some businesses that have been significantly impacted, um, coronavirus could be one of these principal risks which need to be disclosed in the strategic report. Um, so you need to carefully consider um, what disclosure is required. Um, and finally, 
Um, even if, if you're a December or a March year end, the coronavirus might be impacting um, your going concern status. Um, so for example, if you are a retailer, um, so you're a clothes retailer, they're already struggling. There's already, it's already a very difficult um, sector. Um, and if you are rely on your clothes being made in China and you're not able to get your next seasons of clothes, this could have a severe detrimental impact on an, a company's finances. So could then impact um, the going concern status. So potentially you'll then need additional disclosure of a going concern uncertainty. So it is very important that um, businesses consider the impact of coronavirus when looking at them when performing the going concern assessment. So that's the main areas um, that have been impacted. Um, as I said, it's not going to impact all companies. It's only those which um, have kind of significant trading links with China or, you know, maybe are um, trading with China or getting um, components from China to feed into their manufacturing. So we've covered the um, financial reporting implications of coronavirus and if this is applicable to you and you have further questions, please feel free to contact myself or someone else at Menzies. Thank you for listening.